In this short video, let's go ahead and compare and contrast DNA versus RNA. So uh, they both are nucleic acids. That's what the NA stands for. So you have ribonucleic acid for RNA and deoxyribonucleic acid for DNA. So they both are polymers. Um, and when we talk about their structure, RNA is a single-stranded polymer or a single-stranded molecule, whereas DNA is double-stranded in that shape of a double helix. Now, they both have a sugar and phosphate backbone, sorry, backbone from those nucleotides joining together. Um, they both have nitrogen bases, uh, where we see in DNA the nitrogen bases base pair RNA is single-stranded, so you don't find base pairs, but the nitrogen bases will, like when we form RNA and we make RNA through the process of transcription, we will use those um, RNA nitrogen bases to temporarily attach to the DNA bases uh, in transcription. Anyway, so they both have nitrogen bases, uh, but their nitrogen bases uh, do differ a little bit. So they both have adenine, guanine, and cytosine, A, G, and C nitrogen bases. Uh, the difference is RNA has the nitrogen base uracil, where DNA has the nitrogen base thymine. So RNA has a U, where DNA has a T. Now, another difference is their sugar. So while they're both made of nucleotides, uh, the sugar, the five carbon sugar is different. RNA has the five carbon sugar ribose, and then DNA has the five carbon sugar deoxyribose. And really the only difference is uh, deoxyribose is missing an oxygen. That's what deoxy uh, stands for. So uh, I could also say that they both are made in the nucleus, right? So DNA replication happens in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells, and RNA is a copy of DNA, so therefore it is also made in the nucleus. So if we were to look at a table to compare and contrast uh, these two nucleic acids, in common, they both are made of nucleotides. They both have a sugar phosphate backbone. You could also add that they both are polymers. They both are nucleic acids. They both are made of C, H, N, O, and P. Um, and you could say they're both made of the nucleus. So there's a few more things I don't have on my table that you could add. Uh, they also both have the nitrogen bases C, G, and A. Um, DNA is double-stranded, where RNA is single-stranded. DNA has the nitrogen base thymine, where your uracil is found in RNA. And deoxyribose is the sugar in DNA, whereas the sugar in RNA is ribose. And then DNA, because it's double-stranded, um, they run uh, anti-parallel, the two strands. And because RNA is single-stranded, it doesn't have that... Uh, feature. Now the other thing too you could say is that DNA uh, stays within the nucleus and then RNA though will eventually leave the nucleus. So that is another difference uh, for later steps in protein synthesis. All right, all right, great job.